Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 2025 as VM machine on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have heard actually Microsoft has recently released its new version of uh, Windows Server Edition called Windows Server 2025 okay so here we're gonna actually install it as a VM in our Proxmox server okay so first thing first we have to download it from the Microsoft website so if you go to Google uh, actually and type download Windows Server 2025 the first link actually will lead you to download this version okay so actually it's part of the Windows Insider Preview okay so this is the page where you can download this ISO image okay so here you get uh, the different edition that you can download but in most of the case you will actually download the first one which is Windows Server VNext Preview ISO as you can see here okay so me I already downloaded this ISO okay and the next step is to go to actually to your Proxmox and you have to upload this ISO to your storage so here as you can see I have storage and inside the storage in the ISO image I have to upload actually the ISO so as you can see here I already also done that so this is the ISO that I have downloaded into the my storage so the process is pretty simple all you have to do is to click on this upload button here and select your ISO and upload it to your server okay but also you need actually what we call a virtual IO images for Windows so this file also you can download it from the net so you'll find actually the links to download it so it allows you to access the input output ports and also uh, physical memory on your windows machine okay so remember two things that you have to upload to your proxmox storage so the virtual io images which is an ISO file and also the Windows Insider Preview for Server 2025 okay so after that we are ready to create our VM okay so let's hit this button here create VM in order to create our VM okay so here we have to choose the node so here I have only one node so I have no choice but to choose it so it's called Proxmox 01 okay and VM ID so you can choose whatever VM you want ID you want so I will keep with the default which is 140 in this case and here you have to provide the name for your VM so I will call it for example Windows 2K uh, 2025 actually okay then I will go next so as you will see the process is pretty pretty simple so the next step is that you have to choose the ISO image okay so of course here we have to look for the Windows preview so I will scroll down till I will find ISO so this is it Windows Insider Preview Server VNext so I will choose it and also for the type here I have to select Microsoft Windows okay and for the version here I will stick with the default one which is actually uh, for Windows 11 and also for server 2022 okay here I have the option to add additional drivers for virtual IO so this is where we gonna actually provide the ISO for the virtual IO images so I'll click on this link here and I'll choose 
the ISO that also I have downloaded to my storage. So this is it, virtual I.O. for Windows. Okay, then I will go next. So the next screen is for the system. So here for the BIOS, we will uh, just uh, stick with the default one, which is C BIOS. Okay. For the SCSI controller, I will stick with the virtual I/O SCSI single. Okay. And here for the TPM, I will add the storage. So I will choose the default one, which is which is in my case called also storage. Okay. Then I will go next. So for the disk here, so here by default it has chosen for the bio for the bus device SCSI, but I will choose virtual I/O block, okay? And I will keep uh, with the default size, which is 32 gigabytes, okay? And for the cache, I will choose write back, okay? And I guess this is all, so I will go next. So the for the course, I will just skip two. I guess it's enough because I'm gonna just install uh, the standard edition. For the type, I will choose host. Okay, which is the last option here. So I have a total of two cores for the CPU. And for the memory, I will just keep 4 gigabytes. Okay. Then the next screen is actually for the network, so I don't need that. I will just keep next. And this is the final step here. We'll have actually a summary of all the options that we have chosen. Okay. Then I will click finish. And as you can see here, a virtual machine actually has been created with the name that we have given, which is Windows 2K25. So I can click on it and I can go to the hardware section and see what we get. Okay. So we have actually some CD drive or DVD drive actually. I have one for the virtual I.O and one for the Windows Insider Preview ISO image, okay? So here I will just go to the options here and just to make sure for the boot order in order to boot directly with the Windows ISO image. So I will just double click on it and where is my Windows preview so as you can see here it's on the third position so I'll just drag it to be on the first position so it will boot on this DVD drive actually so I will hit OK then so now everything is OK we can start our virtual machine so let's start it here we go and I can also click on the console in order to see what we get. So I can get rid of the main window and I will just skip this one here. So here you will see the screens that we get in order to install the Windows Server. Okay. So here this is the first screen we have to choose actually the language settings so I will keep with the default and I will go next so my keyboard is the US so next and of course I would like to install Windows Server so I have to check this box here I agree everything will be deleted including files apps and settings then I will go next so I don't have a product key so I will do it later so here I have to choose I don't have a product key and here 
we have to choose our Windows Server Edition. So I'll just keep with the Windows Server 2025 Standard Edition with the GUI which is called Desktop Experience. Okay. Then I will go next. And of course we have to accept the license terms. So I will accept that. And in the steps, you can see that I don't have actually an install location. So here I have to choose to load the driver to access your hardware. Okay, so I have to click on this link here. And we have to browse actually to our virtual IO ISO. So here we go. So this is the utility of the virtual IO that we have uploaded to our storage. And I will search for actually uh, this EMT64. Okay. And I will choose here Windows 2K 2022. Here we go, because it's the only option that I have here. And I will click OK. So here it gives me the, the driver description, which is Red Hat Virtual IO SCSI controller. So I will choose it and I will install. So right after that, you can see now that I get my 32 uh, gigabytes of allocated space where I can install Windows Server. So I will choose it and I will hit next. So now we are ready to install Windows Server 2025 Standard Edition. Okay, so let's install it. And of course, it will take some time in order to copy the old installation files and also install the system. Okay. So we will wait for the installation to complete. Now we have this screen in order to enter the product key, so I will do it later. And here we have to provide actually the password for the admin account. So let's provide, for example, this one here. So it didn't match, let's repeat that. So it's password, okay. So let's verify that. I guess this time it's okay. So now we are presenting with the login screen. So let's perform a control alt. Dell and I will provide here the password that I have just provided. And here we go, we are now in our Windows Server 2025. So this is the first screen that uh, actually will send some diagnostic data to Microsoft. So I will stick with the required only, so I will accept that. And here we go, we are now inside our Windows Server 2025, okay? So it's look like uh, actually Windows 11. So we have our start here, we have our applications. 
yeah we have almost everything here we can perform some additional options for example we can install the virtual windows guest tools so we can go to our virtual io windows desk actually and install this virtual windows guest 64 bits application so i'll just stick with the default so everything is okay now so uh, we have successfully installed the uh, windows server 2025 as a virtual machine on proxmox you can actually go back here to our uh, windows or actually proxmox console you can just click on this virtual machine that has been created we can go to hardware and also we can get rid of this uh, DVD drive because we don't need them anymore okay and of course we have to restart our Windows virtual machine in order for the parameters to be set up okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to install actually Windows Server 2025 as a virtual machine on Proxmox. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.